German and Dingle in the morning. I think you could go out to a gun shop, buy a pistol, and then hide that pistol in your belly fat. Let's go, go, go. When uh, I heard that story yesterday, the first thing I thought was just, oh, disgusting. Fat body. I was just fat shaming. I was just being really just, oh, I can't believe that. And then I thought about it. And I went, okay. In my mind, I'm thinking, you know, like Glock 17. You got to be elephantine to put one of those in a fold and walk it upright into a Sox game. Like, how could that be possible? And then if you are that elephantine, how do you even fit in a seat at the ballpark? Well, I... It didn't. It didn't sound legit at all. And even that person, the person that that was shot at the Sox game last Friday, they've already got an attorney. Attorney and denies having anything to do with it, and said that uh, it was not a self-inflicted gunshot wound because they were saying that. I'm sure you heard this yesterday. It was everywhere yesterday. Of the person that was shot, uh, had carried that weapon in under. And I, this. Do you is, know what kind this, of weapon it was? This is what the story said. It says carrying the gun in the full of their belly fat. I'm not even making that term up. Uh, I didn't see. Did, did you see what kind of weapon it was? I, because if it was maybe like one of those like uh, pirate, you know, two shooters, you know, little tiny gun, I could see that. But if it's a regular si- sized, you know, just like a, just a Glock, for example. I don't know. How can that even happen? I, and, and Without the, being detected. And then, too, on top of it, they find the... The actual bullet. Did you see the bullet? Yeah. It was on the news? I did. Was that a twenty two? I don't know. It it almost looked like a, a nine, but I don't know if that was what it was because it was a, a little bit bigger. But there was absolutely no issues with the bullet. It was like the, the JFK assassination bullet. You know how it wasn't even deformed? If this happened, it went through a, apparently it. two people in the stands. If that story was true, and then it, and they just found it on the ground. It wasn't scratched up at all. There was none of that. I mean, how is that even possible? It looks weird, right? Yeah, and I, I'm like, there's no way it's possible. How could you walk around like you were just talking about? Okay, how? that is not that. First of all, that is not a 22. Let me see. Yeah, and, and like, how how could you walk around? There's no possible way. There's no, and I. How could you? How could it not fall out? <laughs> I don't know. I, if it were true. And it was in, like the story, I'm not even making that up, in the folds of their belly fat. Where? Think where about would that, that stomach, what that looks like. Where would that location be? There's no possible way that that is a feasible if, now, thing. Okay, real quick. Just, you know, yeah, okay, if someone squashes down, like they're sitting down and their stomach folds roll, you know, uh, maybe the flap they could lift up. If someone has one of those flaps, those front flaps, they could lift it up. Put it under there and then fold it back down? There's no... I don't know. There's no possible way. There's no possible... All right, let's hold on a second here. Ron. Hey, Ron in Chicago. Hey, guys. How you doing? What's happening? You say it's possible. Uh, Listen, I uh, retired copper from Chicago. It is possible to hide a weapon, even a full-size weapon, between folds of fat on a body. uh, Are you serious? How huge do you got to be to hide that? This is crazy. Uh, you know, it, I've seen guys, you know, you know, in excess of 250 pounds, are able to just, you know, lift up and hold. I, we had a guy with a full size 40 caliber up in one of those. Get out of here! Now, well, oh my god! Now, how, okay, well, how, how does someone that big fit in a seat at a ballpark? Well, they either sit all the way in the front of that little seat, and a lot of those seats out there are bleachers too. So I don't know if they're in a bleacher section or not. I, I just don't get it. This is. It just it just seems hard for us to believe, and this is not. Oh, I, I, if he's seen it, it's got to be legit, right? I, I just I don't understand how it stays. Hold on. Of a course, second. the lawyer's going to deny it. The, well, well, this this person that it happened to is obviously denying it. So, yeah, it says it was not them, and it was not self inflicted. Hold on, this is a nurse, Lisa in Chicago. You say it's feasible? Totally. When these people come in, and I mean, I did like the OB part. I've done other stuff in the hospital, but these folds on obese people are so huge. You could store a lot more than just a gun in those folds. Okay, but here's what I was saying, why it doesn't make sense. Yes, I understand that. I've seen some folds. I've seen what people call, what I call the flap, where people, looks like they have a mud flap in front of their uh, private area. Right, they have this huge flap. They could totally bury. I don't think I've ever heard yeah, of that term. You could bury flap. a baseball bat <laughs> under there. But my point is, Lisa. If someone is that big, why 
Are they going to a Sox game knowing damn well they could hardly fit in a seat? I, I, well, you know, and I didn't really look at the clips. Was, was the person in a seat or were they on the bench? They were in, a seat. They were in the seats. They were in the seat. Now, see, I saw the yeah. video. That person does not look like the person that Tingle is uh, describing. Exactly. They, That's it, why I think it's fake news. Yeah, why? It's Well, well the, you still don't need to be, you know, a three, 400-pounder. You could be a 200-pounder that's just... Um, not as wide, but they still can have that pretty big fold. Okay, let's say they were 200 pounder. Like that's impossible. that's not to that have big. A fold that big to have a flap that big. You have to be like pr- probably 300 plus to have a flap. Could you be 300 pounds and have a flap that could hold a pistol and walking straight upright, not sitting down upright? Absolutely, absolutely. I would, really? I would, and these people, these people fit in the in the. Chairs on airplanes, they're going to fit in a bench or in a chair like that at the baseball game. Understand, but walking with a gun while being upright, it's not going to fall out? Nope. How would you get through it's security? It's a perfect hidden package. How would you get through, even with a, like the metal detector? The metal detector is going to be able to pick something like that up. This is, we're trying I to debunk I this. Heard the metal de- I thought I heard the metal te- detector went off, but they, you know, never nah, found anything. See, this, in this is the problem with social media and all of the news because everything goes back and forth. Apparently, we don't know what the truth is. Yeah, apparently there was somebody that was in front. The story is this: uh, there was a person in front of that person that had a cell phone that made the metal detector go off, not the person that went in. That's, I guess, being the accused of uh, having a, a pistol in their fold. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what happened to Wrigley yesterday? <laughs> No, I didn't. Ha- what happened at Wrigley yesterday, Tingle? Someone who was elephantine snuck in a mini fridge. Really? Yeah. No kidding. Under their flap. Was it full? It was full of beer. It was full of beer. Yeah. Look at that. See, now that's what you do. Hell with a pistol. Save some money. Bring in some old style. The Sherman and Tingle Show. Mornings on 97.1 FM, The Drive. Chicago's classic rock.